Hi, I'm Sam Thurgood and welcome to my Two Minutes Parsha. In this week's Sidra of Noach, we read that Noach ish tzaddik tamim haya Noach was a righteous man, perfect in his generations. And Rashi picks up that specific word bedorotav in his generations and contrasts him unfavorably with Avraham Avinu with Abraham. And that he says that in his generation Noach was righteous, but Avraham had an even greater level of righteousness. Many of our rabbis point out that that righteousness relates to their ability to influence others. Noach was a great, holy and righteous man in and of himself. But as we see from the story itself, his influence on his generation was negligible. Ultimately, it was his own family only that Noach brought into the ark, no one else. Whereas Avraham, Hashem, says, You will command his children, you will command his household to do righteousness. We see Avraham concerned with the people of Sodom and taking in wayfarers and so forth. Avraham had this greater influence. But the Sfat Emet Rabbi Hudalab Alta, the Gera Rebbe, says that this was not simply a result of Avraham trying harder. It was actually that Avraham and Noach had completely different paths, completely different missions in life. And that is expressed through a Midrash which says that Noach was born Mahul, born with a Brit Milah, born circumcised. The idea being that Noach was created on a, so to speak, raised level. In part of his creation itself, Hashem elevated him from his generation and brought him close to Hashem. And on the one hand, that saved Noah. Just as he was saved in the ark, in fact, he was saved in that way from his very birth, from the nature of who, it was, who he was. But on the other hand, it isolated him because he was never a quote unquote regular person. He was never able to relate, to connect to, and therefore to inspire and help the people of his generation. By contrast, Avraham, who was born as a regular person, uncircumcised, and went through an entire journey of decades until eventually he reached this level of circumcision and service of Hashem. Avraham, who was a man of the people, was able to bring the people with him on his journey to elevation towards Hashem. And that, he says, is the normal path of life, even though we do have a Brit Milah right at the beginning of our lives. But the normal path of life is that Hashem created the world with 10 statements. Those are 10, so to speak, barriers, journeys, 10 areas through which we must go through more and more refinement until eventually we come to the source of all, to Hashem. Since our Judaism is a journey, it's a journey on which we can travel with others, bringing upliftment and inspiration to those around us as well. Shabbat Shalom.